Hi. Hi, Miss Wimpany. Hi, Reception. Hi, Miss Lewis. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I hope you're all well at home as well. We're off to our new continent again this week. It has been such a busy six weeks so far, so we've got another one to go to. Um, but Miss Wimpany is going to give us some clues. So if you want to play along with me, I've got a whiteboard because we're going to need to write down some things. So you can have a pen and paper as well if you want to, or you can just play along with me on my board. Okay, so I hope you're ready. It's a bit of a challenge, this one. I'm going to give you some clues and then I've got some friends to help me. So hopefully they will guide you towards the right continent. So this continent is an island and it is the other side of the world from us. Okay, Miss mm. Lewis, you got that one? Okay, yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Some people call it the land down under. And the reason they call it that is because it's all the way around the world at the bottom of the world. Okay. When they go to bed at night time, we are getting up. And when we go to bed at night time, they are getting up. So they're totally the opposite in times. It's night there, day here, and in season. So when we're in winter, they have their summer. It's very strange. So we know it can't be Europe then, don't we? Because obviously we are in Europe. And yes, they've got different times within Europe, but they're not in the nighttime when we're in the daytime. So we can rule out Europe. That's one day. Well done, Miss Lewis, using your detective skills. So I've got a little friend with me. Have a good look at him. Mm, he does have quite strong teeth and actually some of the strongest jaws in the animal world to get his prey and pull it apart. He's quite aggressive. He looks very similar, doesn't he? To some kind of like dog kind of creature with his tail and his ears. That's right. And he oh, lives no. on a small island off the continent we're visiting so he's he's only found in this one place and he's actually really quite rare um i wonder is he a tasmanian devil he is <laughs> oh. house. can you say hi to everyone tazzy <laughs> And he's hi, Tazzy. a little clue for you, Miss Lewis. So Tazzy, you're going to get the clues out. I'll help you. Okay. Tazzy, my whiteboard ready. Letters. Okay. So the first letter to help you with finding out what continent we're in. Oh, I can see a S. S. That on my board. So its name is S, and its sound is. Okay. Next one. Are you ready? Come on, Tazzy. We can do this. Okay, we've got a U for the sound uh. And the last one from Tazzy. Okay, we've got an A or A. Uh. Okay. Okay, I've got my three letters, but I'm still none the wiser as to where we are. Do you need to meet another animal from this continent? I think so. Okay, Tazzy's going to say bye-bye. Off you go. Bye, Tazzy. Next one. Oh, this one is really funny looking. Some of you might not have a clue about him. <laughs> got a really long snout. He's got some whiskers and some really big ears and quite a long tail actually as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a mix of like a rhinoceros, a mouse with his long tail and big flappy ears like a, like a, a rabbit. I'm not too sure what he is or where he's from. Give me some clues. Okay, he's from this continent. And he lives in the desert. So in the middle of this continent, in the middle of the island, it's really hot and really dry. And there's a big rock there called Uluru. And this creature digs down into his bed so it's cool and he doesn't get too hot because otherwise he gets too hot in the desert. Mm. So he likes it to be really warm. But he has to get out of the heat because the sun does. And his name, sorry, his sound, the initial sound of his name is a b, b, b. Ah, I think I might know it. Is he a bilby? Yeah, a bilby. Ah. And again, you only find him on this continent. He's nowhere else in the world, like lots of the animals. Ah. They're very yeah. unique, can't they? So he's He looks very unique. 
Has he got some clues for us? He does. Now, ooh, I wonder why this is a capital letter. Have a look at the first one. Mm, might give us a clue. So a capital this time. So we've got a capital A. Okay, I've added him to my board. Okay, and you know why we use capitals, don't you, Miss Lewis? Well, I'm hoping that the children are going to help me, but I'm guessing that one might be the first letter name. of our consonant. Name. It's for a name, isn't it? That's why you use a capital. Next one. Oh, another one. We've got another A for an A. Okay. okay. I've got these letters Last on the board. one. Ooh, for an L. Okay. It'll be that was okay. good. Look. We'll put you back to sleep somewhere nice out of the sun, okay? Right. Well, I've got all these letters, but I'm still not sure where we're off to reception. Have you got the same ones? Can you make any sense of them? I want to give one more clue that might be a bit easier. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Steve is a very sleepy person. Okay, have a look at him. Mm. Now he eats eucalyptus. And again, he's only found on this continent. And my favourite fact about this creature is that he sleeps for 23 hours out of 24 every day. Wouldn't that be amazing? 23 hours out of 24 asleep? Yeah, it does. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I do think I recognise this creature. I think lots of you at home will recognise who this is as well. This is a koala. It is. It's a koala. He does actually make a sound, but I won't play him now because he'll interrupt <laughs> our game. So, <laughs> koala, have you got some more? I mean, he's half asleep, to be honest. It's probably <laughs> three hours. So, we'll get these out. Ooh, we haven't had this one before, Mr. Sleepyhead. Okay. Okay, we've got on our board, we've got to add an R. R. Okay, I've added it. Okay, next one. Is that an I? It is, it's an I, so it says I, that's right. I. Okay. And this is your final one from Sleepy Cubby the Koala. You've got a T for a T. Okay, I've added that one as well. I'm going to put him back to bed now, Miss Lewis. He can't help you, I don't think. He's of no use. Okay. But Thank you for giving us some letters, Koala. Okay. So now we've got all our letters, we now have to work out where we are. Okay, should we have a look and see how many we've got? Can you count them with me? Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different letters. I was counting. Now, to make it easier for myself, I'm going to make some lines, you know, when you play that game. Do you know also, Miss Lewis, I was thinking nine letters is a lot, but also you've got so much knowledge already because of all the continents we've already been to. So you could think, well, it's definitely not Europe, like you said. Not yeah. sure it's Antarctica either. I don't think those animals live there. So you can use that to help you from your remembering. Yeah, definitely. And we already had a clue as well, didn't we? Remember where you had one of those letters that we had was the one that we needed to use for a name of the country. That we were going to on the name of continent so we're going to put that one at the start so I already know as well that it starts with an A okay so I definitely am not going to Europe I'm not off to Asia I've got way too many letters to be off to Asia North America North does that start with the same no am I off to South America. South. Um, no, I'm not off there as well. Hmm. I wonder, am I off to? I gave you the clues. When you think of the animals, unique. It's a really big island and think of the difference in time. That was a really big clue. I know that there's one person out there who's got family there who knows the answer to this already because he talks about it a lot. I think we must be off to... Australia! Yay! Lewis and reception, you did it this week. We will be learning all about Australia.
So Australia is also sometimes called Oceania. So you might hear them both being called the same similar thing. So we've got Australia to look forward to this week. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And I know there's one person, as I said, in our class who's going to be so excited because he's got relatives there. And my uncle lives there. So I've got lots of things in my house to show you this week from Australia. I can't wait. I, one place I've always wanted to go. The snakes are what keep me away. One day you can go. I have, I'm lucky I've been there a few times. So I'm very lucky. <laughs> I can't wait. So let's do all our learning this week for reception and have lots of fun learning about all these wonderful, weird creatures that live in Australia. Can't wait. Can't wait, Miss can't Lewis. Wait. Looking forward to learning all about them and we can't wait to see exactly what you've been doing at home. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.